Hi, my name is Katie. My name is Kelly Maria Moran. My name is Raven Lissette, and I am the goth model. I'm Zoe Elise. My name is Lyric Mariah. I found Dolls Kill when I was 17. I was just like a long-term like fandom. I just loved everything they stood for. Like I'd be on their site all the time, always just lurking. <laughs> That's when I first found Katie and I was just like all over the website. And then I just remember thinking like, oh my God, it would be so dope if one day like I was their main curve model. That would be sick. Which one would you pick? <laughs> How does it feel to be like the first Dolls Kill model? I think I'll take the butt finger. <laughs> it makes my tummy tickle still. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh man, is it like five or six years ago? Like it's so long ago. This is day two. It'd be like me, Katie, and Zoe. And I feel like we're like the main three that are just like consistently been there for years. This is my new campaign, Make America Gay Again. I literally bought my very first piece of Dolls Kill clothing took one photo in it, posted it on Instagram, and Shoddy saw that somehow and was like, yes. Now we're gonna fly you out, it's gonna be a whole thing. And I was like, no, this is a scam. Admit one to hell. <laughs> Shoddy and Ariana like to argue over who found me on Instagram, but it was one of them and they found me on Instagram. It's the last one of the day. When I moved to LA, the casting came around and I was like, damn, I would like love Solano for this company. Cause so I was like watching your casting from before with in San Fran. And I was like, they look like they got like three shots. So I practiced like three poses, I recorded myself, and then I was like, I'm ready. And then I got there at like five or six in the morning and it was freezing. And I think the casting didn't start till like 11. Yeah, it was crazy actually. When I did first start modeling, it was just because I was dating a photographer in college. And then when we broke up, he got into a bad argument and he was just like, you know, one day you're gonna eventually just be the model with one leg and we're gonna be over it. And I was just like, bet. <laughs> So from there, I was just like, I'm never going to be like a cliche where it's just like, only look at me because of X, Y, and Z. Like I want them to see me as myself first, but myself doesn't mean I have one leg or like I have a few fingers. Like that's yeah. not all I have to offer. I feel like when I work with Dolls Kill, I'm not putting on a show for anybody. Like it's just come be raw, be you. Sure seems higher today. Is this okay? No, actually, I'm loving my straddle moment still. I feel like my personal style is, I want to say always a little like more towards the sexy side because that's just what makes me feel beautiful in my skin. I just like to kind of show off my curves and not wear little potato sacks because that just makes me feel like hidden and as a result, like my confidence just isn't quite as there. My style has kind of like shifted a little more. Being more daring, and when I say daring, I mean like wearing stuff that maybe is a little more like grunge or even like goth mode, because that totally was not my style. But the way they style me here just makes me feel cute. Like I just be wearing like this kind of punk stuff and I'm like, hold on, this is a little fly right now. Favorite shoot from you guys was the Doc Martin shoot. Honestly, just the vibe was just fire. I mean, they had like just some crazy music playing that I also don't really listen to. Like, and I was just like feeling it. Like, I was just like dancing around, like jumping, having like, a great time. And it was just like fun. I like the grungy, darker stuff, but then it's also fun to play with all the other kind of vibes because that's not how I normally dress. We're in Japan, baby! Woo! Tokyo, going to Tokyo has always been my favorite thing ever because it was my first time out of the country. It was just an amazing experience. That one was probably my favorite. It's a lot of fun to be a different person every day. You always have a smile on your face when you say Katie. Yeah, because
when I met her, I was just like, wow, you are genuinely exactly what I thought you were going to be. Like, she's so caring, she's just so loving, and, and she's not like someone who's trying to be this trill yeah. bitch. She's just naturally a dope person. When I was modeling next to her, I know she could tell I was kind of nervous. And she was just so down and like willing and open to be like, you know, oh, like this is like, you can try this or like try that. I had just got a new prosthetic at the time. So I was in a lot of pain and she was quick to be like, if you need to sit down, like don't be afraid to like tell them like you need a break. She would like look over and like tell I was like in a little bit of pain, but like I wasn't gonna say anything. So she would call a break like for herself. And I'm just like, that's like little stuff like that where it's just like, you guys really pick people who care and like care about just people. I'm friends with so many people in the studio. So every time I get, like, get to travel there, like I get to see all my friends. So I get to hang out with like all the stylists and all the photographers. I love everybody. It's like a small family that we've created. So coming here is always a good time. Every time I come here, it's just so fun. And I've like had other brands that I've worked for that you know don't make me feel as accepted. And like, I'm literally crying right now, guys. But it's fine. It just always, it's just so happy. The best part is that I get to live my fucking dream that this is something that I've always wanted to do and I get to be a part of a badass family network that is completely different than anything else out there in the modeling industry. We really push you being yourself and we really embrace that and everyone that works here and I, that's like, it's one of the coolest things.